Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today I have another security based product. In fact I have two. So what I have here are two different essentially secured uh, SSD solutions from a very appropriately named company. If you've never heard of Secure Data, they were a data recovery company that started back in 2007, and that is a service that they still have going strong. And they specialize in backing up and retrieving data from everything from tape to floppy disks, hard drives, SSDs, SD cards. Uh, they even claim they can get into some phones, which is pretty impressive. And what we see in front of us is their efforts to break into the Secure SSD market. And this is actually a pretty impressive effort that they've made here. So their key goal was a very strong and easy to use encryption platform. They wanted something that didn't require drivers or special software, and that could be used in pretty much every computer that we have out there. And this is something that is really important to me because I use a lot of different platforms. I use pretty much every machine and every operating system under the sun that's in main use. And we can see that proudly displayed that this supports Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome, and even Android. Uh, the material that I have says it would work with a smart TV or a car. Uh, so there is no software on here that is going to get in the way of it working with whatever device you want to secure this data with. In terms of encryption, we are looking at XTS AES 256 bit hardware encryption. And that is FIPS compliant 140-2. So if you want to look up and learn more about that, I strongly encourage you to do so. Now, the reason that these are called Duo is probably for the reason that you can already see on the box, is that there is essentially two ways that you are unlocking and managing these devices. The first, of course, is the traditional keypad, which is built into the front of these. And... That keypad is pretty much your industry standard. That's kind of what you see very often on other encrypted drives that are out there. Now, a good long numeric password is always a good idea, of course. And in this case, if that password is entered incorrectly 10 times, it's going to lock you out of that keypad and you're going to have to use another method to unlock the drive which is good to see. And then of course, this is paired with Bluetooth and an app that you would install on your phone, and that's Android and iOS. And that allows you to not only manage the drive, remotely lock it, remotely wipe it, um, use your face ID unlock, your biometric uh, fingerprint unlock to work with these drives. So they are taking full advantage of all of the technology that we carry around in our pockets to help make these drives manageable. So if you're an individual, there is a lot of really powerful security features built into both of these drives. And the nice part is there is no subscription fee. You buy the drive, you get the app, and away you go. You don't have to uh, owe them anything. There's no service fee, nothing. Now, if you're a corporation and you require uh, remote management and, of course, other things to be security compliant, or if you have certain requirements for insurance for cybersecurity, then they do offer a remote management service for $25 US per year per drive, which isn't terrible if you think about what that breaks down per month. And I also kind of like that it's just one fee you pay for the year, so you can kind of build it into a long-term annual budget for your business. That's kind of handy. The main goals of these are that they're easy to use. Uh, with your phone, of course, you can essentially go passwordless you have access to biometric unlock through your phone if it supports it, so that would be face recognition or fingerprint. It also allows for two-factor authentication, so if you have a phone that you want to send a message to, that'll work too. If it detects that you are away, so if your phone and the drive become separate, the drives can lock. You can put them into read-only mode from a touch of the button from your phone, and then of course you can remotely wipe them as well. And we've also talked a little bit about the corporate features, which include, of course, you can manage it remotely. It is audible, shareable. You can put in geofence access and, of course, USB policy control. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up these two boxes and see what we are provided inside for each. And we will start with the USB. And you know what? This is fantastic already because they are thinking of the future. They're also thinking of the past. 
So inside we have a USB type A to USB type C adapter, and they even provide you micro USB, which that's exceptional. <laughs> like there's so many devices that still you have in your drawer that are gonna use that, and the fact that they provided it, so this drive can mate with it, that is uh, beautiful. And then of course we have a uh, little wrist strap, which I'm probably gonna leave off for now, but that's kind of nice to see. But this is the star of the show right here. And then we have a very tiny uh, book of words, which are pretty much the QR codes to download the app and how to uh, set it up very quickly. And it also tells you how to use the keypad, so I'm gonna have to read that in a minute. So if we take a look at the drive itself, we have a lanyard loop up here, which is fantastic. And it's about the size of a Wrigley's stick of gum. At least that's what it reminds me of. And how do we open it? There we go. That's a, that's a very snug fit. Like, <laughs> and I think that's because, yes, there is. Uh, if you can see that on camera, there is a blue gasket around the top, which I would imagine would make this container at least water resistant, probably not waterproof. Um, but that is still impressive and nice to see. And we have a little screen up here at the top, which I imagine will display all sorts of things uh, once we pair this key. Uh, this is pretty well built. Like I'm uh, flexing it here in the middle and it's just, it's just not moving. Uh, the keypad is actually a pretty decent size. Um, even with moderate dexterity, I think you can get used to that pretty quick. The ink on the front is supposed to be wear resistant, so if you're a person that's a creature of habit and not changing your password as often as you should, then that should reduce the obvious nature of what your password might be. So we will set that up in just a moment, but let's turn our attention toward the larger of these two devices, the Secure Drive Duo. Ooh. So we got a carrying case and that's it. That's everything out of that box. These small attention to detail pieces that I really appreciate because it's like, well, you know, this doesn't need a lot of packaging, realistically. Uh, the dongles are nice just so you can get it going, but I like the fact that this is kind of a, a reinforced uh, case for uh, the drive, and I presume all the accessories and everything else. Wow, that is... Uh, you know, presentation matters sometimes, guys, and when you see that, that's uh, that's pretty nice. So we've got a flap here, which looks like you could tuck all sorts of things, um, which is great. Over here, we have USB-A and USB Type-C cables there. Over here, we have the actual drive itself secured by a nice, thick elastic. And then we have our quick start guide. And the drive, again, we have some instructions that are literally on the back. Like, I'm really starting to buy into how easy they want to make this uh, for a consumer that knows very little about security. Like, they've got stickers, they've got manuals, they've got QR codes everywhere. Um, it's this attention to detail that I really appreciate, not because I don't need it, because I know a lot of people that would need it, that would see this and they're like, oh, that looks too complicated. I don't need security because it's too much work or I wouldn't understand it. Um, but when you have all of this information uh, provided to you, it's quite clear that somebody over at uh, Secure Drive and Secure Data, like on their product team, thought about you know the user and the user uh, experience so that this would actually be uh, not as cumbersome. So I really appreciate that, and I've always appreciated uh, companies, big or small, that take the time uh, to make this work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear away uh, some of the packaging. We're gonna get the two drives. I'm gonna get my host computer. We're gonna plug these keys in. We're gonna pair them, program them, and see what it's like to use them. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so for testing purposes today, I've got my ThinkPad X220 running Linux Mint because Let's be real, we always know it's gonna work with Windows and Mac OS. So I've got the Secure USB Duo, and then I also have the Secure Drive Duo. And what we'll do is we'll plug them in, give them some power, and then I'm going to use uh, my Google Pixel here, and I'm going to uh, pair them, get them set up, 
and everything should be great. So we'll start by taking this one out, plugging it in. Okay, so we've got the drive in. I have it paired here. And we see that the lock icon is blinking steadily. And it's going to ask me to create a password here for this drive. So, and that has to obviously be numeric because it's going to be the same for the keypad. But they also have taken the time to print letters at the bottom as well, like the old school touchtone phones, which very few people uh, would have in their homes anymore. The password must be from 7 to 64 characters long. And you cannot have repetitive numbers and it cannot be consecutive numbers. So they have uh, definitely thought about all sorts of things when it comes to that. I love the idea that it could up to be uh, 64 characters. That's exceptional. And they offer a password recovery option if you do forget your password. And it shows as unlocked. And you've uh, just heard it tick over. And we've got a user guide and a start here PDF both in that uh, drive folder, which is fantastic. And then you can see there's a lock icon here on my phone. If I tap into that, I get all sorts of different options where I can change the name, the password, enable two-factor authentication, password recovery, remember password biometric unlock. Like It's pretty intense here. Now one feature I want to point out is the no lock on host restart. If you are using this drive, for example, to have a boot sector uh, say like a, a live Linux uh, USB, you can still use this thing to do that. You just want to make sure that's enabled so it doesn't accidentally trip that particular feature. So they have thought of that. And then of course, there's our remote uh, wipe option down there. So I'm going to go ahead and enable biometric unlock because I'm lazy. And I'm going to change the name of the drive from secure data to secure US. And the cool thing is it's changing it in here on uh, how the computer sees it as well. And that's happening like instantaneously. All right. So I'll remove the drive. It shows that it's disconnected. If I plug it back in, its default setting is locked. So I have two options. I can enter the password. So to unlock, press the unlock button. and I've unlocked it. That works perfectly fine. All right, so I've plugged it back in. The app, of course, says that it's locked, and then you can see here it's prompting me for my fingerprint, and now it is unlocking the device. So I'd say rather confidently that works as intended. So let's go ahead and add the other drive. So we have our drive plugged in. It's showing up as locked. We're gonna go into our app, add device, and there we go. We've got it set up. It's open. I can see the whole volume and everything is working as intended. So we'll make sure that our password works. So I'm going to unplug the drive, which will automatically lock it. I'm going to plug the drive back in. We see the lock icon is flashing. So I'm going to press the lock button. And there we go. I've unlocked the drive. A person might say, well, if I uh, don't want to go through all that security, why don't I just, you know, take a hammer to this enclosure and then rip out the drive and read it that way? Well, you could certainly try, but according to the manufacturer's literature, if you were to attempt to destructively disassemble this device, there is apparently strategically placed epoxy that if you open it, destroys the uh, cryptographic chip, meaning that uh, you're not taking the data off the drive if you tried to rip it out of there. But it is good to know that there is one more line of defense if somebody were to try and crack uh, these devices open. So I'm gonna be continuing to use these two devices uh, wherever I see it appropriate to do so. And if I have any updates on how either one is performed, especially over the long term, I'll be sure to make an updated video to share my conclusions as well.
But at first blush, I do have to say that if you are looking for a hardware security solution, this is pretty good. I have to say, the presentation is excellent. The accessories are very thoughtful. There really wasn't any point during this whole process where I was like, oh, it would have been really great if they did blank. So uh, my hat's off to the company for very clearly paying attention to all of these things. I'd like to thank Secure Drive for sending me these two samples to review. Again, I want to make clear that these were not personally purchased. They were provided to me by the company for the purpose of this review. However, no additional funds have been offered to me for the creation of this review, and my opinions, as always, remain my own. If you want to learn more about these two drives or to get your own, I'll be leaving some links in the description down below. And once again, I would encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So the next time I have the opportunity to feature some security-based devices like this, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.